In this tutorial, we are going to practice adding and subtracting integers. Specifically, we are going to look at the rule that says, when you are adding two numbers with different signs, we must find the difference of their absolute values. And we have to use the sign of the absolute value that is greater. And if the signs are the same, we have to find the sum of the absolute values and keep that same sign. So let's take a look at the first example, which is negative 15 plus 21. We can see that the first value is negative and the second value is positive. Because the signs are different, we have to find the difference of their absolute values. So the absolute value of negative 15 is 15 and the absolute value of 21 is 21. So if we subtract 15 from 21, that would give us 6. And whenever you are subtracting numbers, the sign that you are going to use in the end will depend on which of the two numbers was the greater distance away from zero or has the greater absolute value. Because 21 has a greater absolute value than negative 15, our answer has to be positive. In this example, we have negative 15 plus negative 21. Because both of those integers share the same sign, we have to find the sum of their absolute values. 15 plus 21 is 36. But we have to make sure to mark this answer as being negative. Whenever the signs are the same, we have to use that same sign in our answer. It's kind of like saying we went 15 below 0, and from there we went 21 more below 0 from negative 15. So altogether, we would have a distance of 36 below 0. In this third example, we have a negative, and after this negative 15, we are subtracting a negative. Now, although this 21 is negative, because it is preceded by a minus sign, we have to remember that tells us we have to do the opposite of whatever is inside these parentheses here. And the opposite of subtracting 21 is to add 21. So really, we have a negative and a positive with this situation. And whenever the signs are different, we have to find the difference of the absolute values. 21 take away 15 is 6. And we have more positives than we have negatives, making our answer positive. So this third example ended up being exactly like our first example. Negative 15 plus 21 is the same thing as negative 15 minus negative 21. Whenever a negative is immediately followed by a subtraction sign, we simply take those two symbols and turn them into addition signs or positive signs. So we can see that the first and the third example are identical to each other. Let's try a few more examples. Here we have a positive being added to a negative. And we don't have to change any signs here because we do not have a minus immediately followed by a negative like we do for the third example here. So we keep this 11 positive and this 17 negative. And because the signs are different, we have to find the difference of 17 and 11, which is 6. And because the absolute value of negative 17 is greater than the absolute value of 11, we have to use the sign of this value in the answer. So 11 plus negative 17 is equal to negative 6. Now for these two numbers, the signs are both negative, meaning our answer must be negative. And when the signs are the same, we have to find the sum of the absolute values. 21 plus 14 is equal to 35. So negative 21 and negative 14 have a sum of negative 35. And by now we should recognize that when we have a minus sign immediately followed by a negative integer, that we have to rewrite that using both positives. We have to write the opposite of negative 12, which is to add 12. So now we have two positive integers, or a basic addition problem, so we can just add 18 and 12 together, which gives us positive 30. 
So remember, when the signs are different, find the difference of the absolute values and use the sign of the greater absolute value. And when the signs are the same, find the sum of the absolute values and keep the sign shown.